My old dog Sticking hated Bigfoot. Whenever the lad and I tried for a game of fetch with his favorite red ball, out of nowhere would come thunder in the devil's hairy child, fairly salivating with excitement in pursuit of that ordinary chewed-up toy. Bigfoot was insane for that ball. I've never seen a more single-minded animal in all my days, except perhaps my old mule Brownie when he'd rather sit than move. Well, one day that old dog died, and I was stuck with the uncomfortable task of explaining death to the great woolly child. I'd seen him with dead animal friends before and marveled how he would keep looking for them though the body lay right at his feet, as if playing hide-and-seek with a particularly clever opponent. He would look behind every tree and under every rock in the vicinity, till I'd fairly burn to yell out, It's dead, you imbecile! He could not see that they were there, because the spirit was gone. I must admit, when I watched my own father die, I could not have been more surprised if he had suddenly transformed into a chair. The reverse miraculous magic of the spirit's disappearance and death, as amazing as a rabbit being pulled squirming and full of life from an empty hat, where once was a light, however small, of deer, of squirrel, of tiny bird, where once was light and heat is now come a patch of darkness, an empty space. I explained it to him laboriously. Once Bigfoot understood, he broke like a sequoia split and felled, like thunder and a drenching rain. His grief was pure and complete and holy. I tried to comfort him, and he embraced me with a bear hug of death that stopped my breath. He would have had another lifeless body on his hands if he had not let go for another thirty seconds. He lifted and placed a giant boulder upon the dog's body, and I asked him if he wanted to say a few words. A few words were all he knew at this point. He thought long and hard and then said, Love. Good. Sad. We walked for a while in silence till I could no longer bear his massive, melancholy face. And then I threw Sticking's red ball into the trees. As Bigfoot bounded off, I swear I felt and could almost see the old dog racing him to the spherical object. When he reached the ball, Bigfoot spun and stopped, listening, smelling, and feeling. Out through the ancient trees with his heightened senses, he smiled and spoke to me in the center of my mind and the way he had of doing, effortlessly and wordlessly communicating a sweet profundity, I nodded and hid my melting eyes. A vast wind ran through the trees and over the cliffs. Bigfoot wound up and threw that old ball out into space, away, far away, where the wind runs free. <laughs>